So you're determined, whoever here is in the upright, your determination, you've been forced. It's like your hand has been forced, you're determined, you're focused. People may have turned their backs on you, didn't want to provide for you. People could have even said maybe you don't know how to provide for yourself, but you're determined to provide for yourself. You could be creating something new. <clears throat> Someone could also be spinning a web about what you're creating, like spinning a, a tale about how dark it is or how it's not good or, you know, it's like... People may not agree with what you're doing or how you're doing it, but you could have created something from scratch, like built something from the ground up, but other people may not have liked your methods. It may have looked like you weren't doing something or you were being unproductive because maybe you worked from home or you were doing something that other people didn't like. Like maybe you struggled a little bit financially, but you have the courage and strength and the perseverance to get through some things. You're very determined. You're very headstrong. <clears throat> People just don't like your methodology. Methodology. I think that's how you say that. I think that's how you say that. It's like people may not like what you're doing or how you're doing it, but you're being guided by your ancestors, lost loved ones, spirit guides, you know. Um, the divine. You're being guided to do things a certain kind of way. Someone who's trying to keep it a secret, or they're trying to keep secrets, reveals in the reverse. Okay, so someone, someone's trying to keep a secret that they turned their back on you, that they didn't help you. They don't want this being revealed or exposed. Leo could be significant with the courage that came out. That someone didn't want to help you, they turned their back on you, maybe because they just didn't like what you were doing. This could have to do with work, a belief system, how you raise your kids, how you raise your family. It could have to do with anything. But someone didn't want it revealed. They were trying to keep it hidden that they didn't provide for you. This could even be, um, you know, it could be an ex, it could be a family member, it could be friends. Holy shit balls. Those just flew everywhere. Alright, let me grab these that fell on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep these in the order that they flew out. Alright, so you're being guided by your intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. So, you're listening to your intuition. Someone could be reminiscing about you. There's intimacy, sexual chemistry. Uh, but you're being guided. A guardian, lost loved one watches over you, like I just said. Um, you're using your intuition when it comes to romance, intimacy. Maybe that's kind of taken a back burner because you decided to focus on yourself, what you're working on. You're very determined and driven. Open your heart in the reverse. This will help you attract more love. So there was someone who may not have had their heart open to you because they didn't like what you were doing, how you were doing it, you know, for the reasons I already expressed. Fire sign Leo's Airy Sag could be significant here. And there was a lack of commitment, or someone didn't want to commit to you. They could have been at a distance from you. The things are getting serious, but that's in the reverse. And your partner may be emotionally or physically distant. So they could have used emotional manipulation to try to get you to commit to them. That's come out in a reading I just recently did. Or someone possibly made an offer and then took it back. They were playing mind games trying to manipulate you. But give it time. Everything is in divine timing. Someone could suffer from some sort of addiction, gambling, problems with addiction, gambling, or bad with finances. This person may be bad with finances. They could have lost a job. Um, there was a situation recently where someone um, was faced with instant karma for playing mind games, for creating this distance between you emotionally or physically. And they had some sort of addictions that they're going through. And this could even be addiction to religious, to belief systems. Um, this could be an addiction to substance, gambling, drugs, sex. It could be an addiction to anything. But they didn't offer you a solid commitment. They were not willing to commit to you unless you did what they wanted you to do. They could be regretting that because they're reminiscing, thinking about those intimate times. 
and you're focused on you, you have a lot of things possibly that you need to figure out that you're working on. You may need to take some time, especially in hermit mode, to just think things through and not make hasty decisions. Somebody may want you to act impulsively or wanted you to act impulsively based on emotion, but that's not you because you've healed. Someone's getting the boot, my way or the highway. Whether this is you kicking someone to the curb or them kicking someone to the curb because of some sort of addiction. This could be someone who is kind of like in their king or queen of wands energy, player energy, someone someone who doesn't really like to stay in one place for too long, like in relationships or emotionally. Someone could need to heal something emotionally. Um, someone could be getting kicked to the curb because they're not motivated. I can, but I won't. So someone looks like they're unmotivated, and it could have been them who refused to do the healing, who, um, you know, didn't want to do the work. Someone's coming back, okay? So someone had their hand out here, or someone thought you had your hand out, and there was something electrifying or shocking about this, okay? Because someone may have kicked you to the curb and thought that you just had your hand out, or you were looking for a handout, or that you were trying to use someone for money or finances. That wasn't the case, now they could be regretting their decision. So they could have thought that they could use you or manipulate you and do whatever to you because they thought that you were using them for money or something anyway. So someone's coming back around. So someone got kicked to the curb because they were not motivated. They didn't want to do the work. But now someone's coming back around. Is it Friday yet? Someone could be falling flat on their face on a Friday. Friday could be significant. Now someone wants to take care of you or someone could be in bad health. Okay, so someone could be falling flat on their face because they could be getting bad health news, bad report. They they may need to be taken care of now. So this person could be codependent or they're going to be codependent because they could have lost their income, source of income. Like I said, someone could have lost a job. Someone could be freaking out about somebody wanting to hook up with another person. Someone, Other people may not agree with this or like this because maybe other people thought you were a gold digger as well. Someone was just wasting their time. Someone was doing something on the internet. Um, it's not logical. It's just our policy. They were wearing a disguise, using fake profiles, trying to bother you, upset you. This could be like scare tactics. Like if they were trying to emotionally manipulate you into a relationship with them or something like that, they could have been, you know, using technology to not only spy on you, to, but, but to harass you or put some sort of fear in you. And it could have just pissed you off. Never trust a smiling cat. Like, someone could just be pissed off. This could be you who got pissed off because someone just can't be trusted. Or this could be somebody else who's pissed off after finding out that someone can't be trusted. They could have been lied to. <clears throat> and once again, someone's got their hand out. So this person looks like they might have their shit together, but they really just have their hand out. They can't be trusted. So someone could have been pissed that you were right. Okay, so whatever situation this was, if there was an argument or disagreement, you could have told them the truth about something and they didn't want to hear it. And they look like they're ha they had their shit together, but they could have lost it. And, you know, so it's like now someone's out possibly looking for a new job, but they're thinking about you thinking about why something didn't work, if they would have just stuck it out with you or not manipulated or liked you, maybe you would be there and be there taking care of them now. Oh, God. Someone want, needs rescued. Someone needs a superhero. So someone needs something to happen, whether this is you or this other person. Okay, so even if someone lost their job, you may need something, okay? And I'm not saying you're codependent. I'm just saying maybe you need help with something. Someone needs a superhero. Someone needs someone to step up and do the right thing, whether it's a community, a person, family. There's something that's holding someone back. And it's not like necessarily that they need to be rescued per se, but they need someone to step up and be a hero to do the right thing. There's something that needs to be done in your situation. Or this person needs something done in their situation. So take it how it resonates, whether on you, which side of that you're on. It could go either way.
I framed animals before I framed a raccoon for opening a Christmas present, and I framed a bear for eating out of the garbage. So somebody was set up, framed, something was made to look like something it wasn't. This could have been somebody who was trying to frame you, set you up, or this person was set up. Um, they could have been lied to. There's an arrogant asshole here, and there could have been a lawyer or an unofficial person. There could be someone, like a hierophant kind of energy. So someone could have went to like a lawyer or somebody who held a position within the community and they could have been trying to frame someone, set someone up. Like if they said that you were, like I said, lazy, unmotivated, that you didn't work, uh, but you did something like from home or you were working on building a business, but you may not have like pay stubs or something like that to show for it. Okay. So even though you're working hard, you may not have, you know, like the, um, the common documentation, like from a pay stub or a tax return or something like that. Somebody could have tried to use the legal system to set someone up as well. I'm fast to give you a reference point. I'm somewhere between a snake and a mongoose and a panther. So there's someone here who's going to make some sort of quick action, take some sort of quick action or move quickly in a situation. But there's a barrier or this person is putting barriers in your path so this this came out sideways so this person could be doing something quickly to keep you from being able to accomplish something to keep you stuck or they already did something really quickly to you and that karma went back and hit them and now there's a barrier in their path and now they're feeling stuck some sort of resources are being held up this could be money or information or some sort of communication something is being held up Something is being stopped or stalled. And this could be for your own protection. I accidentally ran over it. It's a Christmas miracle. So someone's trying to do something quickly to make it look like an accident. Or someone is claiming that something was like a coincidence. It didn't happen because you predicted it would happen or something like that someone is trying to say that something is just an accident or it's a miracle you could possibly need a miracle like i said you could need something you could need someone to step up and do the right thing whether it's an official person in the justice system family friends you know or it could be this person who needs a miracle but someone's going to be praying for a miracle because um something Something is being held up for whoever this person is. Why tip someone for a job I'm capable of doing myself? I can deliver food, I can drive a taxi, I can do and cut my own hair. I did, however, tip my urologist because I'm unable to pulverize my own kidney stones. So you could be kind of a jack of all trades and you could be receiving some sort of miracle, okay? If you've fallen on hard times, someone needed to step up, do the right thing, they turned their back on you. Uh, but they were trying to manipulate you or harass you in some sort of way to come around to their way of thinking. You're, you, you're capable of doing a lot, okay? So you don't have to rely on other people. So you may be the kind of person that doesn't really ask people for a lot of things. Like, you don't even ask people to borrow money or anything like that. But yet, people could have been going around saying that you always have your hand out, which is kind of funny because that's just not what I'm seeing here. Um, but there's something that you can't do and something that you need. And someone needs to step up, or someone in the community, um, this could be in the form of a judgment, like I said, it could be a court proceeding, there's something that you can't do, even though you're very gifted and talented, you know, you're very independent and capable of taking care of yourself, but there's one thing, there's something that's keeping you stuck, and keeping you stagnant, and other people may not understand how you ended up in that situation, and it's not necessarily for them to understand, to judge, um, or refuse to help you because of your belief system or whatever it is you do for work, whatever the situation. Um, I feel like you could be very unconventional, you know, and maybe you do have a traditional job, but whatever the situation is, is somebody, somebody should have helped you, but they didn't, uh, because there was a difference of opinion. There was no, we'll just agree to a disagree in a situation. Someone just completely turned their back on you because you disagreed on something because they were being emotional um, and they were being manipulative, and they could have thought that that's how you are. And like I said, you've grown, you've evolved, you've changed. That's not you.
Yeah, so someone is sitting back and waiting. They're expecting to hear from you, is what I just heard. Like, someone's expecting to hear from you. And someone had very dark intentions. There's going to be a reason to celebrate, to be happy. Um, or someone is celebrating because they thought that they scared you. So there's someone here who's sitting back expecting something from you, waiting to hear from you. And they're celebrating because they think this is going to happen. They think they've gotten you right where they want you. I don't know what that's about, but someone feels like they've got you right where they want you and they're celebrating. They're wearing a mask. They're using fear tactics. Um, and they think they got it. They, they feel like they accomplished something. And they're still sitting here waiting. <laughs> oh, jeez. It could also be that, you know, you're sitting back waiting for something that's going to happen and you're going to be celebrating and happy and you could just scare the shit out of people without even trying. Because whatever dark intentions, whatever dark purposes that somebody had set out for you, something is dead over with. Um, someone could have literally died or passed away. Like I said, someone could be in bad health. So someone who is really dark or had dark intentions for you um, could be facing, I just heard the Grim Reaper, so um, someone could have maybe gotten some bad news. But there is someone who's sitting back and waiting as well. So even if you're sitting back, you're waiting on divine timing, not that you're being lazy or something, um, but your calmness is scaring the shit out of someone but there's someone here who's still waiting and expecting something from you or some sort of communication or they're waiting for something to happen and they're watching. They're secretly watching. Like someone really did think that they had you backed into a corner. Um, like I said, they could have been celebrating. You could have multiple dark people here. Uh, this person wore a smile on their face, you know, they're hiding it, so they could be hiding the fact that they're in bad health or that they're going to pass away. Like, you you may not know this, but they know it, and they're keeping it from you. They don't want this revealed. They don't want you to know about it. There's something significant about a home situation, a property... This could be someone who's watching a property, looking at a property. Someone had a smile on their face when they were trying to screw you over. You ended up at a property where they could watch you, stalk you, or harass you. Um, real estate or um, you know, some sort of property is significant. This could be a family who owns the property. It could be someone who you're not related to. But there's something really shady and dark surrounding a property or a home. And an older married couple who's watching, who is watching, spying, throwing curveballs at you, possibly reporting back to this person. <clears throat> and that shit just keeps coming out over and over and over. Like a married couple um, that's connected to somebody's ex and there's a, a property that's involved. And somebody that's very manipulative and they were willing to do anything and everything to win at all costs. You're a divine being, though. You're divine. You have divine protection. You are a divine person. <clears throat> Whoever you are in the upright. That's why you're waiting on divine timing. Because something is going to happen for you. In the nick of time, the last minute, whatever the case, something is going to work out for you. You could have a lot of people that wants to sleep with you. So you could have options, okay? And this person could be going nuts. They could be upset because maybe they didn't realize you had options. So say this person wanted you backed into a corner, stuck in a state of poverty with no options, with no way out except for them. Um, someone could be finding out, and it could be that person who's finding out that a lot of people want to sleep with you or be with you. Like you have a very strong sexual aura or energy, even if you are homeless. So you could be homeless or facing homelessness. It could be a family here that's getting kicked out on the street. And somebody could have thought that if you were homeless 
and had nowhere to go, that no one would want you, and that you would just have to end up with them, and they could just treat you any kind of way. But you have options, and you have people that want to sleep with you, and someone's finding this out, that you're still, you still got it going on. You know what I'm saying? You got that lot big package energy. It doesn't matter how big you are on a measuring stick. You have that energy, and, you know, whatever the situation is, is people still want to be with you. And that was unexpected. So we have a group of people here. We have an older, mature woman swimming in quicksand, and someone has to walk away. And then someone got their back turned on someone else because they're dealing with the feminine energy in the reverse. So there's a group of, and this has been coming out too. Like there's a, an older feminine, and someone was being coached. They're connected to a married couple and a group of people. So there's a group of people here that were swimming in quicksand trying to screw shit up for you. They were connected to a feminine energy in the, in the reverse. That could have been a mother figure of yours. It's been coming out for I don't know how long where there was a mother figure that was working with your ex and your ex was connected to, you know, these real estate people or a married couple and they were connected to the shady ass group of people. You know, it's just like connecting to the, the dots as, you know, we do these readings and stuff. Um... And that's kind of the same energy I'm picking up on here. But there's an older woman here. And there's someone who's walking away and turning their back on another person. So it could be this um, older woman who walked away and turned their back on someone. Or it could be someone who turned their back on them. So it could be a feminine energy who turned their back on this group of people. Or this group of people that turned their back on this older feminine for what they did. Someone's still being watched. Voyeurism is still very significant. Um, and then we have friends in the reverse. So this is someone who was friends with another person. So this could have been an older feminine energy who was all buddy-buddy with your ex. So it could be a mother figure, um, mother, wife, lover, whoever the situation is. But there was a feminine energy here. And it could have been your mother or their mother. They were working with an older woman here. Um, and they were friends. Like they were buddy-buddy. And they were working together to do something really shady to you. But there's still some sort of voyeurism going on. You're still being watched. And it could also be that this, this group of people um, or this lady is being watched. Um, but as these people are watching you, if they're still watching, they're watching you rebuild, move forward. Um, they see some people coming together to help you out, to build with you. You're working on building something, rebuilding yourself. Um, you could have had to start from the ground up. Like I said, if you're in poverty and you were stuck, stagnant, you may have had to start literally from scratch. And they thought you were down and out, that they were going to accomplish something by doing this to you. And yet they see people coming together and working with you. And that was very unexpected. So they could have thought maybe you didn't have any help or maybe you didn't have anyone. But you could be receiving unexpected help from people um, that maybe you just didn't see coming. Because there's a new cycle here. Someone that you had a soul connection with wanted you to be in isolation. And they're hiding in the crowd. And they don't want you to know that they're still watching, waiting. So someone that you had a soul tie with wanted you to feel alone, to be alone. They didn't want anyone to help you. People around you could have started treating you differently, acting differently. Meanwhile, this person was hiding in the crowd, watching partaking in all this you thought you could have thought that this person was out of your energy maybe you haven't even been with this person for a while it could have been months weeks years whatever you didn't think you may not have connected the dots that there was some sort of ex um boyfriend girlfriend spouse whatever the case you did you may not have known that this person was connected to a family member or feminine energy i'm getting that someone could have been a family member could have been an aunt mother sister whatever uh but it would have been a mother figure because that's that's definitely a mother figure. So there was definitely a financial imbalance here. And then we have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, the Page of Wands in the reverse, and Queen of Cups. So this could be a judgment 
um, someone speaking the truth about a Queen of Cups. Um, this could have been a uh, Queen of Swords who it lied. There was some sort of message or lie that was made about a Queen of Cups. You could still be dealing with this Queen of Swords. So this could be a very cold-hearted, like, businesswoman kind of energy. Um, an energy vampire. This person is very draining. And you could be the Queen of Cups, someone who's loving, caring, compassionate. It could also be that you're the Queen of Swords and this person is, this feminine is just really jealous of you. And they lied and wanted to help cause financial imbalance for you because maybe they just, they're jealous of what you do for work or they don't like your work, whatever the case. Justice is coming in here. Balance needs to be restored. Libra energy could be significant. Balancing is very important here. There's some financial imbalance that was done and made intentionally by somebody who rushed with some lies. And this has to do with some sort of communication. So someone could have lied on some sort of documentation or made a false allegation or report. Someone may be having to defend themselves in a court system. So this may be the Queen of Cups. But there's justice being restored and you have the strength, courage, and perseverance to get through something. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So there's three feminine energies here. So, um, whoever you are in this situation, there's three feminine energies. And you could be going from like the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles after something goes in your way, after you receive some sort of justice. So this could even be like a shady ass judge or something, a business owner, and then of course you, wherever you fit into this, because there's an older woman who could be coaching some people, there's a married couple, and then there's the divine femme. definitely something to do with some sort of communication or expected communication somebody either got some really bad communication or they didn't even receive the communication to begin with oh someone got a message that someone walked away a group of people were scrambling to figure something out to do something so there's a group of people here who either got the message that someone was walking away or someone got the message that a group was walking away from something because this is just too emotional someone doesn't want to get caught up into this. It could be the group or it could be an individual. But someone got some sort of communication that someone was walking away, that they, they turned their backs on the situation. They're not interested in dealing with this bullshit anymore. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So someone could have walked away from this Queen of Pentacles or this Queen of Pentacles had to walk away from this group of people. Someone doesn't want to be involved in this shit anymore. Because they're facing... They're facing some shit. A loss of money, jail time, possibly even a loss of their own job. <clears throat> so this group was out of options. There's a permanent ending here. There's a Ten of Swords situation regarding a Queen of Pentacles. Whatever seed someone planted and they thought they were going to benefit off of manifest. So this could be a shady ass Queen of Pentacles who runs a shady ass business. And all they did was create a very emotional situation that now they have to answer for. And they, they didn't get any money from it. So this could be a scamming ass feminine who could have worked alone or could have been married to someone. Um, could have even been the mother figure, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. Um, she definitely didn't get what she thought she was going to get. And there's a permanent ending, a Ten of Swords coming regarding a situation, whether she ended it or it's being a forced ending for her involvement in this. Because there was a big lie that this person told. Big, big lie. And this person didn't know who the fuck they were dealing with with the Ace of Swords. 
So this person was going off bad information or they were spreading bad information and lies and trying to keep the truth hidden. They, this person didn't want this to get out. And they got a message of concern that they got caught in their bullshit or that they're not going to be able to keep something from being exposed or the truth from being told. Because you're a truth teller, a seer, you have some sort of gifts. Even if you couldn't prove it before, you have the ability, you can prove something, you have evidence, you have what you need. And this is a message of concern for someone who thought that they could remove all your options from you except for you having to give them some sort of money. So they could have been using blackmail or extortion and they're finding out. The, the bullshit didn't work you're standing up for yourself and you're going to fight back and the truth is going to be revealed about this person and they're scared about the consequences for their involvement and in what they did to you with these people because there was an injustice the king of swords and the reverse so the king and queen of swords could be the married couple in this situation and then we have a hierophant, an official person, fighting a lot of conflicts. There's an official person who wants to partner up with you, two of cups situation, because you're respected, you're held in high honor. <clears throat> so this could be a law official or somebody who holds a position of authority or someone who's respectable or respected. It could even be a court official. Um, but someone, this married couple, the King and Queen of Swords, created an injustice and caused a lot of unnecessary conflict for you. They're going to lose their financial stability and security, Ten of Pentacles, because they could have tried to take that from you. They thought they were going to get a Ten of Pentacles, so they had you fighting a lot of conflict and battles on your own, by yourself, because you were isolated. They could have thought you were an easy target. They were energy vampires, time, money, energy, resources, ice cold, ice cold. They did not use clear and concise thinking. They did not think something through before they took some sort of action and fucked with you. They were trying to take a treasure. They rushed out with some sort of lie because they thought they were going to get a treasure. They didn't see you as a treasure, but they were busy placing barriers in your path. And then we have this king of wands. I told you there was a king, of, king or queen of wands up in this bitch somewhere. Someone who was non-committal to you, so this could have been your ex. So they worked with someone, rushed in with some sort of lies to take a treasure, and they could have lied to your ex about what you were doing and what you were up to. They were trying to keep a distance between you guys so that they could get whatever they wanted out of this. So there could have been a king of wands, which could, could have been your ex, if that's the masculine person who was your ex, um, or the person that was in their masculine energy, and their player energy, non-committal and restless, um, you know... This guy could have lied to him, like, this man could have trusted, this masculine could have trusted this married couple to watch, to spy, to tell them the truth. They could have said that you were sleeping with this, that, and the other person. Um, you know, just, just lying on your, just lying. Because they were trying to get this ten of pentacles, this treasure that they thought they were going to get. You're going to receive some sort of communication because the hard work did not pay off, okay? This king of wands, maybe they didn't want to work, they had their hand out, they could have lost their job. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Someone did not benefit financially. This King of Wands did not benefit financially from their hard work, and they could have lost a job. So not only did they lose the girl, um, they could have ended up losing their friends, money, job, career, whatever they had going on. It didn't benefit them. It didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. The star in the reverse. Which still could be the divine, femme, or masculine, just in past energy. So I'd like to get a few more cards before I determine if that's someone who's evil. Um, you have money coming towards you. There is money. Knight of Pentacles. This could have also been someone who was evil and dark who was expecting you to get some sort of money. Uh, but someone here, their financial stability is good. You have money coming in. You're admired. Someone admires you with your ability to maintain finances, to control your finances, and the fact that you healed. Okay, so this is someone who was evil, someone who was not getting a new start, a new beginning. So someone who had dark intentions that thought they were going to get a clean slate off of you. There was a third party situation and now someone wants to come clean up a betrayal. So one of these feminines, you know, this king of wands, one of these people that were attacking you, 
they could have said that they were just friends with, uh, but it was a mother figure, could have been your mother figure. But there's a third party situation and someone here did not get a clean slate, a new beginning because they were very dark. They had evil intent regarding this third party situation. Now someone wants to come and help clean up a betrayal. They could be revealing some sort of secret, what was done in darkness being brought to light. Someone could want to, this person could want to tell you this, a secret <clears throat> that they regret what they did to you, that they were trapped. So someone was trapped and in despair in a situation. It could have even been the married couple, okay? Whoever this, whoever this is in this situation was very dark. They didn't get a clean slate. There was definitely a third party situation. This could have been the King of Wands. It could have been the married couple. It could have been anyone. But they were trapped in a situation and they were in despair. But you're going to receive some sort of communication from someone who wants to help clean up this betrayal. They know they did you wrong. So someone wants to apologize. Whoever that person is that wants to apologize. They didn't get a victory, so they were in despair because they didn't get anything but trapped. They could have even gotten jail time. They could have been arrested, locked mentally, physically, emotionally. <clears throat> so someone did not have a victory by work, and that could have even been just working with somebody else. It doesn't even have to be a sexual relationship. But that third party situation, it could be the King of Wands who just didn't get a victory by working with his people by these people now they're bound and trapped someone could have been facing jail time someone could be in despair because they're scared of going to jail and they didn't get a victory on top of it it's a no for them someone needs to be honest with themselves someone's just lying to themselves children are involved so you could have children with someone or you could be a child like i said your parent a parental figure could be significant here. A relative is involved. Stalker alert. You have a relative that's stalking you, or vice versa, or that's part of this that was watching you, stalking you. Regarding your children, reporting back to your ex. So this is a mother figure who is reporting back to your ex that you have a child with. And for some of you, it could have been a third party situation where this mother was screwing up with your ex. Someone's not divine. They're evil. <clears throat> Someone is using legit spell work. Dark magic. Someone really was doing some evil shit. Someone could have been lonely, Twin Flame, or they wanted you to be lonely. And they lost control and snapped because you're not codependent. You're not lonely. You're fine on your own. Um, they didn't change. They're still the same and incurable STD. So they, they're still the same. They're still non-committal. They're still in that King of Wands energy. They were lonely. Because they're codependent and you're not, right? So they could have hooked up with some skank, some prostitute, whatever the case, they could have caught an incurable STD. And here you are with your WAP energy, big package energy, and they want to come say they gave up their player ways and they're suffering in silence because they know they fucked up, but proceed with caution because I shit you not, okay? This person more than likely has something going on because they were not, even though it says they're lonely, their dick wasn't, okay? Let's keep it real. Someone's hiding their true personality. Proceed with caution. Someone's hiding who they really are. They didn't change who they are. They say they gave up their player ways. They did not. They did not. And they caught an incurable STD. You could have told this person to leave you alone. And they were frisky, horny. I told you. Their, their genitalia wasn't lonely. Someone was eavesdropping, trying to cover up some illegal activities they didn't want someone to know. Someone could have been spying, watching, trying to catch another person doing some sort of illegal activities, but someone's trying to cover up some illegal shit they did. 
and it could have to do with them being frisky and horny, like a prostitution situation. Actions speak louder than words. A friend involved in the reverse. Someone said someone was just a friend or someone was a friend, but they were doing more than that, okay? Someone has too many fake profiles to count, and someone was anxious or is anxious. Um, someone's friend is anxious, and it could be they could be waiting for test results or something themselves, but there's some sort of friend who this person slept with. They could have been connected into some sort of illegal activities, and this person who you thought maybe was your friend is anxious. They're looking at your photo, reminiscing, but actions speak louder than words. Someone doesn't back up. You know, it's like someone got kicked to the curb because they're just not willing to put in the work. They're lazy. Someone is definitely playing with fire. If someone was a dime a dozen. They, they could have chose to be with someone who was a dime a dozen. They just wanted to be a pain in the neck, pain in the butt. Like a com common narcissist, common manipulator. Sagittarius could be significant in the summer. I, J, K, and L on a Monday. <clears throat> so someone could have went broke when they wanted you to be broke. Because of what they did. They didn't heal from their wounds. They need to do some healing for all intents and purposes. They didn't have a clue. Don't step on anyone's toes too late. They stepped on your toes. They were trying to trap you up. They were trying to keep see something from being seen clearly. Or they just refused to see something clearly about being able to trap you up. And now someone's stuck between a rock and a hard place for all intents and purposes. Water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces, August, and October could be significant. Could have been significant months, events, court dates, birthdays. Someone's about to lose their head, lose their temper. Someone's losing their shit. It's either you or someone else, but someone's about to snap. For real, for real. Because they stepped on someone's toes. They could have stepped on your toes. They stepped on a lot of people's toes. There was a lot of toe stomping going on in this situation. Third party. So there's a third party that could be losing their temper, losing their head. They didn't get their way. They didn't get the clean slate in the new beginning they thought they were going to get. They could have been they could have gotten ghosted in the fall. Or by the fall. September. To be more specific. Someone is intrigued and they want to know more, but someone judged a book by its cover. So someone had some sort of preconceived notions or misconceptions possibly about a third party situation or um, that, that could be someone altogether. But someone here judged a book by its cover. Now they want to know more. They're intrigued. <clears throat> Someone took their shot in the dark, or they didn't take their shot in the dark, or yeah, they did three times, three strikes, you're out. So something was done multiple times, and someone could be part of this group that worked against you and judged you prematurely, and now someone wants to know more about you. Someone here is starting over from scratch. A Scorpio could be significant. Someone here was being slippery as an eel. They did something way too many times, and now someone's pissed off. Someone's going to be pissed off by December. Well, they were pissed off in December because they found out their backs up against the wall, so they could have started drinking three sheets to the wind. It could have been under some sort of substances because they were in their worst nightmare because they lost control. And because you're getting some sort of award recognition, 15 minutes of flame or fame. But something is burning hot. They didn't count their blessings. They were not content with what they had. They were impatient. They did something impatiently in the winter time. That could have been December. Capricorn. And it could have been Capricorn season, so that's December through January. So, yeah, if someone did something impatiently December through January, or someone could actually be a Capricorn. 
and you don't have fond memories of this person, but you do have a positive outcome, something is going to work out for you. This person was lazy, you know, you're going to get your happily ever after. A Friday significant, someone's going to be falling on their face, and they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And this is a wolf at the door, so be careful, because some somebody really thought something was going to happen quick as lightning, but they didn't see eye to eye with you. And January is significant again. They want you to forgive and forget what they did in January. So an Aquarius, and this person plays for the other team at noon. So this person's not the real deal, not the real McCoy. Taurus can be significant, and a Gemini. You can run, but you can't hide in the morning time. So there's a lot of signs that just came out there, but there's a lot of stuff going on, especially from the winter time, where something is going to happen by this winter. But there's definitely something significant about Friday. So that could be a Friday in the winter time. In December, there's there's a lot going on. Like Capricorn season is very significant winter time, um, and then the fall. So something significant could have been going on since like September until like February or January. Alright. Person, place, or thing. N could be significant. M U. Somebody wants your phone number or numbers are significant. Be a bank account number, house number, telephone number. G. The amount of money someone has is significant. K. I just heard Munchkin. I don't know. W. Munchkin. Munchausen syndrome. Munchkin, like the donut holes or something like that. Dunkin' Donuts could be significant. WW. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings could be significant. So we may like to eat a lot of chicken wings. M. The Jamaican Jerk could be significant. Alright, we're getting double letters. I'm going to get one last one. H. So I have N U M G K W W M H. Um, and web, a website could be significant as well. Sounds like it's raining. Okay. All right. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.